Uh, Ian, this morning the president of Boingo talked about the impact of Wi-Fi only devices coming to market later this year and uh, potentially uh, by iconic devices next year. Mm -hmm. What impact will that have on the ecosystem, i.e. carriers and uh, uh, other players in the market? Yep. So I think it's going to depend on the device because if you look at things like uh, let's say an iPad, a tablet, then obviously they're available today. Now put Hotspot 2.0 in them, Passpoint, etc. Now the carrier can steer, play more games with the traffic, right? At the end of the day though, it's still up to the user to decide what they're going to do with that Wi-Fi only device. Um, I think what gets more interesting is when you have a device that's 4G and Wi-Fi on a tablet. Now the carrier says, maybe I don't want you on LTE, maybe I want you on Wi-Fi, right? But that's only one category. Now look at all the other things you can do. So cameras in a home, Wi-Fi only. Um, washing machines, refrigerators, we've been talking about all these things for years, they actually start to become realistic in terms of you buy a washing machine, it's got a display on it, and it shows people like me how to use a My wife was away last week, so <laughs> this one came up. I had instructions, but maybe you know there's a fault on the washing machine, maybe there's instructions on what, how to reset it, or click here for help, that type of thing. All those things, anything in the home makes sense for Wi-Fi, now you start putting it in vending machines, in buildings. I mean, think of all the systems in buildings, commercial buildings, and what you could do then for Wi-Fi. Um, so there's many different aspects of this. I think that the problem with Wi-Fi only devices is we have this picture that says a Wi-Fi device looks like this today, right? It's very limited. It's a laptop and a tablet. Um, the expansion of that clearly is going to happen. I mean, it's getting cheaper and cheaper to put them in, and there's more options to, for connectivity. So. I guess uh, the, the presentation to me was one of the most provocative presentations because it talked about a Wi-Fi only device world with no data plans and potentially no carriers involved. And then right. the next slide talked <laughs> about the cable companies, specifically Cox, Comcast, and Time Warner Cable, yeah. coming together to develop a 165,000 uh, hotspot network across right. the country. Any right. comments on, on those yeah. two trends? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's valid and nothing's ever free. Right, so to the user it may look like I can go connect to the Time Warner Cable network, right? Oh, I can do that today because I'm a Roadrunner customer through Time Warner Cable. So the cost is in there, I just don't see it directly as a bill. Uh, somebody's paying along the road, on the long way here. But I think that's, that's perfectly valid. And I think you start looking at, so that you extend that question is, do I need the carriers? All the time, no. In combination with something else, yes. So now you start thinking about, let's say, um, an Apple or a Microsoft says, you know what, we want our own network. They could go to ATT, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and B&M, VNO, and go do it with other cable companies and have a device that switches between the two, but to the user, it looks like it's from Microsoft, and it's free, or however they bill for it. Yeah, valid. Thanks for your time. Thanks.